The PCTV Network proudly presents the Tri-County Swim League Senior Championships here at Laurelwood Swim Pool. I am Anthony Vanford, joined by Tiffer Burns. Tiffer, how are you? Good, Anthony. Thanks for joining us this morning here at Laurelwood. Anytime. And the weather, it's a little cloudy, but still ideal conditions, and we're going to have some great swims today. It is. It's, it's on the uh, cooler side this morning, so it, it feels pretty good. You know, it, it's not the 90-degree heat that we've been having today, so hoping we have some real fast times in the pool this morning. Yeah, and we were both talking before this about the Opens. I think we're going to see a lot of quality swims. We have a lot of great swimmers, Mercury, all area swimmers, and a lot of college commits here today. Yeah, I'm really excited to see some of these guys and girls. Uh, I really think that we're going to have some fast times in the pool. Uh, we have some swimmers like Will Cano, Jacob Repigol, some people who have placed in the top 10 or top 12 in the state this year. And, you know, it's going to be nice to see them swimming here for their summer teams. Another interesting thing to see is going to be the 13-14 boys. North End looks strong on both ends, but a lot of other teams are bringing a lot of firepower for the youngins to the table. Yeah, you know, it's going to be nice to see the youngsters uh, shine a little bit in this meet here. You know, a lot of times the Opens get all the credit in a, in a summer swim meet, but, you know, we're going to highlight the 13-14s today, and I'm expecting to see some fast times from them as well. That'll do it for us here. Our first race will be the 13-14 boys medley relay. There's a place for wood in your backyard. We recommend the fire pit. For looks and performance that outlast a wooden deck, make sure your next deck is built with Trex, engineering what's next in outdoor living. Your Trex expert is A.D. Moyer Lumber, admoyer.com. This is the year you're going to improve your game. No excuses. And the pros at Blackwood Golf Academy are here to help. With their 23-acre all-grass driving range, full-service pro shop, and computerized swing analysis, Blackwood Golf Academy will get your game up to par. Need lessons? Individual and group instruction with head pro Chris Carr will shave strokes off your game and make you the envy of your next foursome. Blackwood Golf Academy, a country club setting open to the public, adjacent to Blackwood Golf Course in Douglasville. Butter Valley Golf Course, conveniently located in the quiet, rural setting of Valley, PA, just off Route 100. One of the nicest, most affordable 18-hole course in the region. With changing elevations, challenging greens, and scenic fairways, golfers of all ability levels are sure to enjoy their round. Butter Valley Golf Course is a great place to enjoy the game of golf with friends or family, young and old alike. Grab some buddies and grab a meal at the Runway Grill before or after your round. Butter Valley Golf Course. For more than 50 years, Pottstown Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery has served its community with expert dental care, offering patients dental implants and a full menu of procedures for many types of dental problems, including bone grafting, wisdom teeth, impacted canines, facial trauma, jaw surgery, oral pathology, TMJ disorders, and sleep apnea. Get the smile you've always wanted. Contact Pottstown Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery today. The PCTV Network proudly presents the Senior Championships for the Tri-County Swim League here at Laurelwood Pool. I am Anthony Bamford, joined by Tiffer Burns, and the first event of the day is the boys' 13-14 200-meter short course relay. Looking forward to these boys here swimming this morning. The senior champ record is a 159.31 set by Hillside back in 2017. We'll see if that gets touched today. First of two heats here. In lane two, we have Nine Oaks. In lane three, we have another Nine Oaks relay. And in lane four, we have North End. From the outside in, swimming for Nine Oaks in the backstroke is Jason Drover. For Nine Oaks in lane three, Jack Miscavige. And for North End in lane four, Jimmy Faust. Nice underwaters by the gentleman in lane three. Yeah, Jack Miscavige out to an early lead for the Gators. Jack Herpel takes over for the Gators in lane three, swimming the breaststroke. Go! 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 He'll 
Hillside's Flynn Rulestone looking to close the gap a little bit. Ryan McCabe for Nine Oaks getting into the water swimming breaststroke for them. I'll tell you what, Anthony, it looks like lane three is trying to pull away here, but we have a great comeback they from are. North End in lane four. North End not letting that gap get any bigger. When you keep it close, you give yourself a chance. Here on the butterfly, that's Andrew Henyon for Nine Oaks. Opening up a slight gap, heading into the finals, final leg. Ethan Say looks like trying to finish us off here for Nine Oaks. Smooth freestyle. Dylan Morlock hopping into lane four. All right, Anthony, Nine Oaks taking the first victory of the morning. As heat one goes to the Gators, their A relay looks strong starting from the backstroke and just kind of building on that off a strong backstroke leg. At Superior Credit Union, we believe in growing stronger together. So we provide products and services to fit your financial needs and accommodate your busy lifestyle. With convenient services like home banking, e-deposits, account alerts, and a free coin counter for members, come see why Superior Credit Union is growing. Visit any one of our three locations in Collegeville, Royersford, and our brand new location in Pottstown. Superior Credit Union. Yakalak Construction, serving the Tri-County area since 1946. Family owned, free estimate, all types of concrete work, sidewalks, foundations, steps, curbs, and more. Professional service and quality. Give them a call, 610-323-8134. Welcome to the beautiful historic Reading Country Club, now open to the public. Play the same course that Sneed, Hogan, and Hagen played, designed back in 1923 by renowned golf architect Alex Finley. The Reading has 18 championship holes. Now, after your round, just stop on by the Patio Grill for delicious food and a nice ice cold beverage. Why not book your organization's next outing at the Reading Country Club? Hey, and by the way, check out the weekly exciting leagues. It's memorable now at the Reading. For more information, just check out the website, ReadingCCGolf.com. And now for Heat 2, North End brings two relays in lanes 3 and 4, and skip back brings another relay in lane two. North End looks very deep in their 13, 14 boys. Three relays to start us off in the medley. Yes, and these At, are all names we're going to be saying a lot today. It's They're, impressive depth for their team, impressive depth. And off the start, outside in, Skipak, Parth Yadav, North End, Chase Anoya, North End, Luke Schatzman. Schatzman looking like he's having a little bit of difficulty with the lane line there. I believe he may have hit his arm once or twice. Here's to have straightened out. And the North End teammates pretty much dead even here coming into the second lap. You can tell these two push each other in practice. They are right almost neck and neck. Green exchanges now Dominic Testa 
in lane three and Will Huggard in lane four. Both for North End and for Skipack, it's Nicholas Morissetti. Wow, Testa and Huggard are keeping this almost exactly where they hopped in the pool. Testa about a body length ahead right now. Good turnovers and now the butterfly. For lane three, it's Justin Delp. And in lane four, it's his brother, Ryan Delp. A little brotherly competition, love it. Wonder what you gotta be thinking there. What if your brother comes back and beats you? <laughs> that must be an interesting conversation at dinner. That's, that's some bragging rights right there. However, Justin has opened up a bit of a lead here on Ryan. Sam Bellino looking strong on the freestyle in lane three. Nate Oliver looking good as well. And for skip back, Evan Martin. Looking to close things out there in lane two. Nice finish by Sam Bellino. Hi, I'm Joe, and this is Chris, and many of you know us. And we'd like to welcome you to our new showroom here at 618 North Reading Avenue in Boyertown, where we offer Kohler faucets, Mellon faucets as well, vanities, tubs, and many accessories. Here we have an operating, high-efficiency, Energy Star-rated American Standard Furnace combined with a variable-speed AC condenser. Uh, let us install one today to start saving you money throughout the heating and cooling season. Here at Patriot, we now offer kitchen and bath designs. So come visit us today at 618 North Reading Avenue or visit our website at www.patriotmp.com. At O'Donnell, Weiss, and Matei, our team approach makes all the difference. Anyone entering a nursing home really should consult with an elder law attorney to see whether Medicaid is the appropriate option for them. But it's really important to make sure that you have someone that's familiar with those rules, that works with those rules on a daily basis, that can guide you through the process. I specialize in elder law because I enjoy the clients that I work with, and I really like helping them find solutions for their problems. OWM Law. Your life. Your business. Your law firm. And here we are back at Laurel Wood for event two of the senior champs, the girls 13, 14, 200 meter medley relay. In lane two, we have Nine Oaks, and in lane four, we have Nine Oaks. So an all Nine Oaks seat here in the first of three for the medley relay. Again, this is where the depth comes in handy for these teams. Nine Oaks on the boys and the girls both have multiple relays going off here. Coach David McCormick has certainly done a great job developing that depth here for this Nine Oaks team, and it shows here at the championships. 100%. So in lane three for Nine Oaks, it's Olivia Kozak. And in lane four, it's Ella Gibbons, who appears to have some goggle trouble. Looks like one of the straps came down over top of her face. Saw that, yep. Looks like it's over her nose right there. She finishes strong either way. And now in the water, it's Nadia Sherrick and Julia McShane. Nadia Sherrick has a real nice glide in her stroke there. She's getting through the water very well. You gotta love that. A lot of, young, a lot of youngsters believe that you should swim breaststroke just like you swim the other strokes and try to go as fast as you can, but really it's about the glide and pulling yourself through the water, and Nadia's doing a heck of a job with that right now. And Nadia Sherrick will pass off to Emerson Brown now for the butterfly for Nine Oaks.
And in lane four, Maeve Donahue takes over. I'll tell you what, Anthony, I think a lot of the swimmers are appreciating the overcast morning that we're having here, keeping the heat down. See a lot of swimmers on the deck staying hydrated throughout the morning, which is great. Yes, I know a big thing back in my day when I swam with the senior champs was it felt like the weather was always 95 plus and hot, and no matter how well you stay hydrated, the heat always got to you. I remember people would complain about their caps getting overheated by the time they stepped up on the block, so this weather's a nice little, little change of pace here. Feels good, feels good. That it does. And so Nine Oaks takes the first of three heats for the medley relay. And we'll get ready for heat three in just a minute. There's a place for wood in your backyard. We recommend the fire pit. For looks and performance that outlast a wooden deck, make sure your next deck is built with Trex, engineering what's next in outdoor living. Your Trex expert is A.D. Moyer Lumber, admoyer.com. For more than 50 years, Pottstown Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery has served its community with expert dental care offering patients dental implants and a full menu of procedures for many types of dental problems, including bone grafting, wisdom teeth, impacted canines, facial trauma, jaw surgery, oral pathology, TMJ disorders, and sleep apnea. Get the smile you've always wanted. Contact Pottstown Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery today. And now here we are for the final of three sections here in the girls 13-14 medley relay in lane two we have hillside lane three north end lane four skip back and in lane five north end again similarly to nine oaks earlier north end with double relays in the a final here yes and that can lead to big points for them if they're going for that team title And off the first turn, it's Skipak with a slight lead over North End. Tell you what, three and four are really uh, neck and neck here. Almost indistinguishable going into the turn. Or the exchange, excuse me. And Hillside's on the outside looking to stay in this. You're really seeing a couple different techniques here. The Hillside swimmer. Jessica, she's more of the fast stroke with the breast stroke, while lanes three and four are going more of the glide method. So now, you're a swim coach. Which style do you think is a little bit maybe more efficient, or is there really not much of a difference if you get a good enough swimmer? You know, I feel that the glide has worked traditionally well, but I feel like uh, if you talk to uh, collegiate coaches, I think they're starting to go more with a, a speed method. But either one works, you know, depending on how you know. If you know how to do it the right way, you, you could really be successful either way. And I'm sure all of these coaches here in the Tri-County League do a good job of identifying what style works best for their swimmers, as evidenced by the different styles we're seeing here in the pool. And so the battle for first place continues between North End and Skipback. Don't count out Hillside yet. Yeah. They're, they're, they're right there, too. This is anyone's race. It really is. This has potential to be our first photo finish of the morning. Outside in, Hillside, North End, skip back. Skip back with a slight lead. Can they hold coming in from the flags? It looks like it's Skipper. What a race. 
That was a fantastic finish by Claire Madges from Skipback. And here we are for event number five, the boys 13-14 100-meter freestyle relay here at the Tri-County Swim League Senior Champs. Outside in, we have Andrew Keenan of Skipback, Max Culp of Laurelwood, Justin Delp, North End, Sam Volino, North End, Andrew Henyon, Nine Oaks, and Ryan Delp, North End. Three North End swimmers in the last heat of this race. And not just that, five of these athletes come in seated less than two seconds apart. It's a very tightly contested race here. Right now, Justin Delp with a slight lead. And the battle for second is also very hotly contested. The tall frame of Andrew Keenan out He's there. He's really trying. In lane one. But it looks like Delp is going to take it. So Justin Delp. Keenan, Keenan finished second. Valino finished third. Relay Madness continues here with the girls 13, 14, 200 meter freestyle relay. In lane one, we have Laurelwood. Lane two, Skipback. Lane three, in North End. Lane four, Hillside. Lane five, Nine Oaks. And lane six, more North End. North End again, just like the boys. The girls have two relays in the uh, in the second heat here. It's so a good way to add points. Yes, in that team race, Skipback was mounting a comeback, but North End with their depth, they might be able to pull away once again. Tight into the wall. North end and skip back going one, two to start. Followed closely by Hillside. Nine Oaks moving up in lane five. And now skip back comes out of the water there with the lead over North end. Yeah, Lucy's having a heck of a heck of a split here. Really giving her team a nice lead. And Hillside and Nine Oaks able to catch up to North End's A relay there. Right now, skip back with about a body length lead. Let's go, Annette! Although Annette Testa is looking to close that gap for North End. She's trying, she's making a move. Looks like Annette may close the gap all the way and give her teammate a lead going into the final leg. It's neck and neck. The ladies are diving in at the same time. They are dead even coming out of the water. Now North End slightly pulls ahead. Elsa's been on the leaderboard a couple times today. And the battle for third between Hillside and Nine Oaks is shaping up to be a good fight as well. The North End. Yeah, Elsa's putting her head down and really just powering through the water. Finishes strong. North End one, skip back two. Hillside. Close, Hillside. but Hillside takes it for three. What a race here in the relays. No, this is the final. Now it's time for event number 27, the boys 15 and over freestyle relay. In lane one, Nine Oaks. In lane two, Laurelwood. In lane three, another Nine Oaks relay. Bellwood, lane four, and Laurelwood in lane five. This is gonna be another good race here. A lot of district swimmers in this race. Will Cano leading off for Bellwood. Gives them a nice lead to work with. Will's on the record board at ONJ Roberts for a few different sprint relays. That was a smart move by their coaches to have him lead off the race here. The interesting thing about the relays is that, you know, there's a couple different ways to do it. Some people like to put their fastest first, some people put their fastest last. Really depends on how the coach wants to, uh, wants to set themselves up for success. And Kyle Krupp up for Nine Oaks swimming a huge leg, bringing them back in. And now Nate Reagan's gonna take it. 
going up against John Caldwell for Bellwood. Nate Reagan, we've said his name a couple times, been around for the backstroke. He certainly has. Nate Reagan's gonna give off to Henry Phillips as an anchor, while Caldwell's gonna give off to Colin Davis. Both guys known for their freestyle sprint prowess. Can Colin catch Henry? Here we go. Right now, Henry Phillips holds the lead, but when Colin Davis in the water, no lead is big enough. When you're a six foot two freshman, you can do that. But it looks like Henry's gonna hold him off. Colin's Colin. charging though. One last surge. Phillips and Nine Oaks hold on for the lead. What a final lap though by that was Colin fantastic. Davis. Fantastic. And the guys, good show of support at the end, giving each other a hug. That was great. What a race. Yakalak Construction, serving the Tri-County area since 1946. Family owned, free estimates, all types of concrete work, sidewalks, foundations, steps, curbs, and more. Professional service and quality. Give them a call, 610-323-8134. At Superior Credit Union, we believe in growing stronger together. So we provide products and services to fit your financial needs and accommodate your busy lifestyle. With convenient services like home banking, e-deposits, account alerts, and a free coin counter for members, come see why Superior Credit Union is growing. Visit any one of our three locations in Collegeville, Royersford, and our brand new location in Pottstown. Superior Credit Union. For more than 50 years, Pottstown Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery has served its community with expert dental care, offering patients dental implants and a full menu of procedures for many types of dental problems, including bone grafting, wisdom teeth, impacted canines, facial trauma, jaw surgery, oral pathology, TMJ disorders, and sleep apnea. Get the smile you've always wanted. Contact Pottstown Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery today. for the 13-14 girls 100 meter freestyle. In lane one, we have Jane Kratz for Lorewood. In lane two, Gabby Metry for Hillside. Lane three, Elsa Lucas for North End. Lane four, Lucy Michael Skipak. Lane five, Claire Modges Skipak. And in lane six, Kara Jan Nine Oaks. You know, the interesting thing about the 13-14s is that you could actually have some high school swimmers in this race depending on when their birthdays are they can swim with the younger age group here in summer but yet still already have finished their freshman year of high school that is a nice little fact right now it's hillsides gabby metry in the lead with elsa lucas of north end and skipback coming up there on the turn coming in this final lap Hillside retains their slight lead, but North End and Skipak closing that gap. They're almost even now approaching the flags. Coming okay, into the, the final stretch. Key is put your head down and go. Almost too close to tell. They say no breathing in from the flags. That certainly helped all those athletes with a strong finish there. That was a photo finish. We're going to have to wait for the timers to see who pulled that one out. And here we are for event number eight, the girls 100 meter freestyle. In lane one, we have Bailey Richard, North End. Lane two, Kirsten Dagg, Nine Oaks. Lane three, Bryn Romberger, Skipak. Lane four, Katie Guns, Hillside. Lane five, Ashley Gutschall, Skipak. And in lane six, Bellwoods, Caitlin McGuire. Again, a lot of high quality in this race. A few of these girls went to the PIAA state championship meet earlier this year at Bucknell University. And in this field, speaking of colleges, we have Kirsten Dagg out there in lane two for Nine Oaks, who's committed to William and Mary. She'll be joining the CAA to swim for the next four years. Ashley Gutschall, a rising senior at Springford, has yet to commit, but I'm sure she'll have a bunch of colleges knocking on her door come the fall. And now into the final lap. Bryn Romberger of Skipak holding a slight lead, but Katie Guntz 
at the flags, pulls even. It's like Bryn Romberger with the victory there. A Great swim. Yeah, a strong last lap and a big finish from the flags. Getting in the water now is the boys 13, 14, 50 meter backstroke. In lane one, we have Jack Miscavige for Nine Oaks. Lane two, North Ends, Luke Skatsman. Lane three, North Ends, Chase Anoya. Lane four, Andrew Henyon of Nine Oaks. Lane five, Flynn Rulestone of North End. And in lane six, also from North End, Connor Striffler. So an all North End Nine Oaks battle here in the 50 meter backstroke final. I was gonna say, Anthony, you sounded like a broken record there announcing these six gentlemen. Four North Ends and two Nine Oakses. Again, it goes back to the depth piece. A lot of young talent in both of these pools, and these guys are really moving here on the backstroke. And now Chase Anoya came in with the fastest seat time, but Andrew Henyon, when I was talking to Coach David, was one to watch. And he had a big swim there. And here we are for event number 10, the girls 13, 14, 50 meter backstroke in lane one. Olivia Ciardiani of Skipback in lane two, Hillsides, Lila Fisher, in lane three and four for North End, Annette Testa and Colby Richard in lane five for Skipak, Kari's Alder Yilan, and for Laurelwood in lane six, Jane Kratz. We've been talking about depth all day. North End once again in that conversation, but now Skipak sending a pair of athletes here to the final. Yeah, North End had uh, two girls in the previous heat and two here, so. Four out of the top 12 are in North End swimmers here. And it looks like North End has the potential to go 1-2 here. That's Lane three, Testa. Be Testa followed by her teammate there in lane four. So big points for North End there. And a great swim all around. And here we are getting ready for the boys. 15 and over. 100 meter backstroke, but first let's get an update on the team standings. All right, through event nine, in sixth place we have Laurel Wood with 59 points. In fifth place is Bellwood with 64. In fourth place is Hillside with 66. In third place is Nine Oaks with 102. In second place is Skipback with 121. And in first place, running away with it, is North End with 154 points. Now in the water is the boys 15 and over backstroke. In lane one for Hillside, we have Edward Selecki. In lane two for Laurelwood, Nate Culp. Bellwood's Colin Davis, who we saw earlier in the 100 free, is in lane three. Laurelwood's Patrick Bowker is in lane four. Nine Oaks sends Nate Reagan to lane five, and Colin Simpson for Laurelwood is in lane six. We already talked about how Colin Davis is a freshman, but also a freshman is Nate Reagan for Nine Oaks. He was a big part, played a big part in the Springfords boys team success this year during the winter season. And he was a district qualifier in the 500 free. What really helps these guys as well, not only is the high school and the summer swimming, but their year round swimming through their club program. Colin and Patrick are both top swimmers. So they swim with coach Bill Draves, who's the head coach of the Hillside program here. And these guys are very familiar with each other as a few of these guys are teammates on the O&J team, Patrick, Colin, and Nate Colt. Now coming into the final, 12 and a half meters, Colin Davis with a slight lead, but Nate Reagan's making a move on the inside there. Looks like it's gonna be Davis and Reagan going one, two there, so strong showing for the freshman. And here we are for event number 12, the girls 15 and over, 100 meter backstroke, the final here, Laurel Woods lane one. Laurel Wood is Natalie Spencer in lane one. Abby Kohler for Skipak in lane two. Lana Brown, the favorite for Hillside in lane three. Kai Griff, Kaya Griffith for Bellwood in lane four. Kaylee Zakarovich in Lor for Laurelwood in lane five. And Bailey Richard for North End in lane six. Looks like Lana Brown already trying to jump out to a big lead. She is favored in this race by about three and a half seconds. Although Abby Kohler in lane two staying with her, as is Kaya Griffith. So after the first 50, it's Brown with a slight lead over the rest of the field. And they are tightly bunched up here. 
Brown is definitely pulling away here, but it, there is a battle for second and third. Yes, apart from Brown, the rest of the field was separated by less than two seconds. Kaylee Zakharavich in lane five for Laurelwood trying to make a run here. She was a district qualifying backstroker for Owen J. Roberts. So Brown takes the win, the battle for second. Almost too close to tell as all the athletes were coming into the wall at about the same time. I think Kaya may have finished in second, but third we'll have to check the times. And here we are for the event number 13, the boys 13-14, 50 meter backstroke. In lane two for Bellwood, we have Alejandro Vidal. In lane three for North End, Dominic Testa, Andrew Keenan for Skipback in lane four, and Will Huggard for North End in lane five. A couple of these guys have already won an event here earlier today. Keenan won the freestyle, and Testa was the breaststroke on the medley relay that came in first place earlier today. And you can clearly see why. Fantastic stroke by Testa. On the, on the inside there, Will Huggard, North End making a move, kind of moving up there. Into the finish, it'll be Testa, Bellwood. Good swim all around for those boys in the fast 50 meter brushstroke. Keenan may have used his, uh, his reach there to come in third. We'll have to check the times. And here we are getting ready for event number 14, 13, 14 girls, 50 meter backstroke. But since the second half of the meet started, let's go get a quick update on the team scores. All right, so through event 13 in sixth place, we have the Hillside Piranhas with 88 points. In fifth place, Laurelwood with 94. In fourth place, Bellwood with 95. In third place, Nine Oaks with 113. In second place, Skipback with 156. And in first place, continuing to lead the whole meet is North End with 204. And in the water now is the 50 breaststroke. Jessica Selecki of Hillside, Anna Springer of Skipback, Annette Testa of North End, and Olivia, Olivia Giordani of Skipback. And we're gonna have a great finish here. Well, this is gonna be anyone's race. That was a tightly contested race, big finish, all the athletes really giving it all in from the flags. We'll have to see who came out on top. And you really have to appreciate all the sportsmanship that these young ladies and gentlemen are showing today. Everyone hugging and high-fiving after each race. You love seeing that. Hello, everybody. Can I please have your attention? All right, thank you. Uh, on behalf of the board for the Tri-County League, I wanted to welcome everyone to the senior champs. Uh, I wanted to thank all the swimmers, the parents, the coaches for a great summer season. And hopefully everyone's gonna have a great champs today. We're looking forward to the A's and the B's next week. So we're gonna go first with the awards and then we'll recognize the seniors. As we recognize the seniors, I ask the seniors to come here and be recognized. So we're gonna start with the age group champs. Uh, okay, first for the 14 and under boys. North End Stingrays. All right. 14 and under girls, the North End Stingrays. The 15 and over boys, we have a tie between the 9-0 skaters and Laurelwood. And for the 15 and over girls, the Skip Back Dolphins. Okay, for the Terry Wade Sportsmanship Award, the winner is the North End Stingrays. So the overall, Overall winners for the league. And third place, the Nine Oaks Skaters. And second place, the Skip Back Dolphins. And in first place, the North End Stingrays. Okay, thank you all. So I'll move on to the senior swimmer recognitions. 
This is in alphabetical order by pool name, no preferentials. For Bellwood, we have Will Cano. <clears throat> He's been swimming in the Tri-County League for seven years, all with Bellwood. He's graduating from ONJ Roberts. He plans to attend our sinus for a year with a transfer to Cornell with a studying atmospheric science. And he will be planning on swimming in college. For Hillside, we have Nicole Stout. She's been swimming for nine years, all with Hillside. She graduated from Boyertown. She does plan to go to Bloomsburg in the fall with a math study in psychology. And she might swim with a club. Next is Lana Brown, also from Hillside. She swam the last four years for Hillside, graduating from Ole Valley. She plans to attend Shippensburg and with a uh, study in business management, and she does plan to swim. Nice Next, we have Connor Stout, also from Hillside. He swam for eight years for Hillside, graduating from Boyertown, and he's going to be attending far away in the University of California, Irvine, Chemistry, Pharmaceutical Sciences, and he does not plan to swim. Next for Laurelwood, we have Rain Bean. She swam for the last seven years at Laurelwood, graduated from ONJR, and she's going to take a bit of time off, and then she does not plan to swim. Next we have Connor Heft. He's swam for 14 years at Laurelwood. Give it up for Connor. He graduated from ONJR. He'll be studying applied mathematics at the University of Maryland. However, he does not plan to swim. And that, because I can't tell what that is. No, but what is that? Anant. Papa Curry, Papa Kamuri, thank you, from Laurelwood. Swam for the last five years at Laurelwood, graduated from ONJR. We're going to be going to Penn State studying biochemistry and molecular biology as well as pre-med. He may swim with a club. Next from Laurelwood, we have Colin Simpson. He swam for seven years at Laurelwood, graduated from ONJR. Owen J. Roberts High School. He'll be going to St. Joseph's University in the fall with a major in finance. Nice. Next we have Kaylee Zacharevitz. Zacharevitz, thank you, from Laurelwood. It's 11th year swimming from Laurelwood. Also graduated from Owen J. Roberts. And will be attending Moravian to study nursing. Uh, she may swim, but not her freshman year. Oops. Okay, on to Nine Oaks. We have Cameron Elsner. Has swam 12 years with Nine Oaks. She graduated from Springford High School and will be attending the University of South Carolina. Does not plan to swim. Also from Nine Oaks, we have Kirsten Dagg. Swam 11 years with Nine Oaks. Graduated from the Hill School, and will be attending William and Mary in the fall, and will be swimming. Woo! For North End, we have Sarah Chapman. Woo! Sarah swam nine years in the league, all with North End. Graduated Pottsgrove High School, and will be attending Westchester University in the fall. <laughs> will be studying nursing, but does not plan to swim. And for skip back, we have Samantha Grauski. She has swam for skip back for the last six years. Graduated from Perkinville Valley High School. Will be attending East Stroudsburg University to major in early childhood education. She does plan to swim. 
Sorry, the name got cut off of my sheet. The next one is Jacob, Jacob Perplogo. Okay, he uh, has been swimming for skip back for the last 10 years, graduated from Perkiom and Valley, and intends to go to University of Delaware to study business, and he does plan to swim. Okay, next is Jacob Harold. He has swam for skip back for eight years, attended Perkiom and Valley High School, and intends to go to Lebanon Valley College to major in accounting and he does plan to swim. Next we have Brim Romberger. <laughs> Swam for skip back for seven years, attend Gwinnett Mercy High School, plans to attend the Florida Tech for Sim Civil Engineering School. She does plan to swim and do crew. <laughs> and finally we have Cooper DeMarc, who has swam for skip back for the last six years, attended Perky Oman Valley High School, and will be attending Penn State to study mechanical engineering. And he will plan on doing club swimming. So thank you seniors for all your dedication and years of swimming. I hope you all have good success in college. And then the final thing here before we finish is to recognize the seniors uh, scholarship winners. So we have four winners. First is Bryn Romberger from the Skip Back Dolphins. Next we have Kirsten Daggs from Nine Oaks Gators. Next we have Cameron Elsner from the Nine Oaks Gators. And lastly, Alex Hamill from the Skip Back Dolphins. So thank you everyone. And uh, I'll hand it back over and we can start with the second half. There once was a haunted house. People said they had her boyfriend. <laughs> but no one dared to go inside. There's a place for wood in your backyard. We recommend the fire pit. For looks and performance that outlast a wooden deck, make sure your next deck is built with Trex, engineering what's next in outdoor living. Your Trex expert is A.D. Moyer Lumber, admoyer.com. At O'Donnell, Weiss, and Matei, our team approach makes all the difference. Anyone entering a nursing home really should consult with an elder law attorney to see whether Medicaid is the appropriate option for them. But it's really important to make sure that you have someone that's familiar with those rules, that works with those rules on a daily basis, that can guide you through the process. I specialize in elder law because I enjoy the clients that I work with, and I really like helping them find solutions for their problems. OWM Law. Your life. Your business. Your law firm. Hi, I'm Joe, and this is Chris, and many of you know us, and we'd like to welcome you to our new showroom here at 618 North Reading Avenue in Boyertown, where we offer Kohler faucets, Moen faucets as well, vanities, tubs, and many accessories. Here we have an operating, high-efficiency, Energy Star rated American Standard Furnace combined with a variable speed AC condenser. Uh, let us install one today to start saving you money throughout the heating and cooling season. Here at Patriot, we now offer kitchen and bath designs. So come visit us today at 618 North Reading Avenue or visit our website at www.patriotnt.com. At Superior Credit Union, we believe in growing stronger together. So we provide products and services to fit your financial needs and accommodate your busy lifestyle. With convenient services like home banking, e-deposits, account alerts, and a free coin counter for members, come see why Superior Credit Union is growing. Visit any one of our three locations in Collegeville, Royers Ford, and our brand new location in Pottstown. Superior Credit Union. It's time for event number 15, the boys 15 and over 100 meter breaststroke. 
In lane two for Bellwood, we have Tito Vidal. In lane three for Skipak, we have Cooper DeMarc, Moses Jude for Laurelwood. Laurelwood. In lane four, and in lane five, it's Hillside's Connor Stout. A lot of these guys have been competitively swimming against each other for quite a while. Tito and Jude in lane two and four are teammates on the O&J team. Cooper, I believe, swam for PV earlier this year. And when we did the senior recognition before, he will be swimming club at Penn State. You know, the breaststroke is a, it's a, it's a tricky stroke, as I stated earlier, because naturally you want to try to pound yourself through the water as hard as you can. But with the breaststroke, you really need to have the finesse and the technique needed. You got to get the arms and legs working together, snapping of the legs to propel your body through, and then getting a great pull out with your glide. It's a very technical stroke, and these boys definitely have it mastered. Coming into the final lap, less than a second separates the field. It's DeMarc with a slight lead, but Stout on the inside is moving. Same with Bellwood out there, all the way out in lane two. Cooper looks like he's going to take this one. And he does. So a good swim there for those boys. Congratulations to Cooper DeMarc of Skipback taking it. In the pool now is event number 16, the girls 15 and over 100 meter breaststroke. For Nine Oaks in lane two, it's Izzy Ketterer. For Hillside in lane three, Tamara Engler. For Skipback in lane four, Sydney Kohler. And Bellwood's Sierra Griffith is in lane five. Tamara Engler did very well swimming for Boyertown earlier this year during the winter season, going to districts and placing very well in a few different events. She's a very well-rounded swimmer. Coach Draves can put her uh, in a few different places over the summer. And we've talked about different styles. Engler goes ops for the much shorter stroke, while Kohler there for Skipback goes with a longer, more glidey kind of stroke. You know, you bring up a great point because that is what, what we're clearly seeing and it's great that we're getting good camera shots on both of these young ladies because you can see the difference how, especially swimming breaststroke, you could do it a variety of ways and still be very, very successful. So coming into the flags now, Engler with the lead, Kohler in second. Out there in lane two, Ketterer for Nine Oaks has third secured. Great swims by both of those young ladies in first and second. Fantastic racing. In the water now is the finals for the 50 meter butterfly 13 14 girls. Nine Oaks is Olivia Sellers is in lane two. Hillside's Lila Fisher in lane three for Skipback. Curry's Elon Adair. And in lane five for Laurelwood, it's Reese Rikiki. Right now, Fisher holds a slight lead, but coming in the flag, she's going to be challenged on the outside and the inside by Sellers and Ilana Adair, but she manages to hold on for the win. Hillside's had a couple of great uh, first places here in the last few races. And here we are for event 19, arguably one of the most hyped up races of the day. It's the boys 15 and over, 100 meter butterfly. All of these athletes are seated at 103. In lane two for Nine Oaks, we have Dylan Dayrit. In lane three for Nine Oaks, we have Henry Phillips. In lane four for Skipback, Jacob Rapogel. And in lane five for Bellwood, Will Cano. And when I talked to Coach David McCormick for Nine Oaks about this race earlier today, he said he would love to go one, two, and 100 fly, but it's gonna be tough with Jacob Rapogel in there. And since I'm here with Mr. Burns, I'm going to throw in Will Cano as well, as they are pretty much even here heading into the final two laps. They really are. Jacob has opened up a bit of a lead. He's got about a body length lead on Henry. But don't sleep on any of these guys. These are four fantastic swimmers, probably the best that the Tri-County has to offer. There's Henry. no doubt in my mind that Dylan and Henry will be swimming in college, and Jacob and Will have already committed to Delaware and Ursinus. And so Nine Oaks' is 1-2 will be denied. Rapogel takes it. Henry Phillips and Dylan Dayrit follow 2-3, and Cano takes four. It's time for event number 20. The girls 15 and over, 100-meter butterfly. In lane two for Hillside, Evelyn Lecoq. 
in lane three for skip back, Bryn Romberger, who we saw earlier in the freestyle. For Bellwood, in lane four, Eliana Crew. And for Bellwood, in lane five, Kai Griffith, who we saw earlier in the backstroke as well. A lot of talent in this race here. All four of these ladies are fantastic year-round swimmers. Kaya representing Springford, Eliana representing Owen J. Roberts. Have both been to districts. Bryn, before during the senior recognition, it was announced that she will be on the crew team at her college down in Florida, and she is still undecided about swimming, but will definitely be staying as a student athlete, which we all love to see. So here in the third lap, getting ready to come into the exchange to the fourth lap, the two Bellwood athletes and Skipak pretty much even. We're going to have a great last lap here. A strong underwater there for Skipak. Sometimes in these races, it's all about length. Bryn's a bit taller than the other girls. Will that pay off at the finish? We'll see. It will. So Skipak takes one. Bellwood follows behind with two, three. What a race. It's time for event number 21. The boys, 13, 14, I am. North End brings three to the table. Will Huggard in two, Sam Valino in three, Dominic Testa in four, and Laura Wood sends Max Culp in lane five. And now, the thing about the IM is, earlier we had the 200 um, relays that are IM, where four guys team up to swim all four strokes. Here they make one person do it all. That seems kind of cruel, doesn't it? Very much so. I mean, you really have to be a master of all trades to be a successful IM swimmer. Uh, you know, a lot of times, as coaches, we try to get our athletes to uh, be very good at multiple strokes, but you really have to put it all together when you swim here. And looking at someone like Max Culp in lane five, he just came out of an A final about 15 minutes ago, and here he is back in, in the second one, which is very impressive for this age group. And so it's Valino with the lead going into the breaststroke leg. Freestyle is up next. Test North is... North End again dominating with the uh, with this age group, the 13-14 boys. You know, looking at three of these, uh, the last three of these heats, they had a total of eight swimmers in three heats, and the two of them are pushing each other in three, four right now. Testa and Valino, let's watch. Dominic Testa with the win. Valino finishes second. In third place, Will Huggard. All North End swimmers going one, two, three. Uh, here we are for event number 22, the girls 13, 14, 100 meter IM. North End brings two athletes to the final with Colby Richard in lane two and Elsa Lucas in lane four. And Skipak has the other two athletes with Anna Springer in lane three and Olivia Giordani in lane five. This is a battle between the top two teams here so far over the course of the day. Well, Skipak and North End have really been swimming well this morning so far. And North End continuing to show their depth and the reason why they won the, the 14 and under titles for both the girls and the boys teams. Young lady in lane two is really cruising. Colby is just cruising in her breaststroke. Has a great glide going, keeping her head nice and still the whole time. Now after, after the smooth gliding, we come to the freestyle, which is just whatever you got left in the tank at this point. You see that T on the bottom of the pool and you just gotta put your head down and go for it as hard as you can. And it looks like it's gonna pay off for Colby finishing in first place. Lucas takes second and Olivia Giordani of Skipback takes third. Here we are for the boys, 15 and over, I am. This is going to be a great heat. All the athletes come in seated under 110. In lane two for Hillside, we have Connor Stout. In lane three, Henry Phillips. In lane four, Jacob Rapogel. And in lane five, Patrick Bowker. And we just saw Rapogel and Phillips earlier, both meddling in the fly. They square off once again here in the I am. I'll tell you what, I've said it numerous times. I feel like a broken record. Some incredible talent in this age group, especially with these young men. 
And Rapogel going out to the early lead here as we come into the breaststroke leg. Rapogel really is a backstroker, backstroker and distance freestyler, so starting the IM in the water really pays off for him. But obviously as a Delaware commit, fantastic swimmer all around. He's showcasing that here. Come into the turn. Phillips and Stout even. And Bowker trailing slightly. But it's going to be all Jacob Rapogel here in this IM. He's going to take it. Henry Phillips is going to get the edge for second. And Stout will take third. That is the definition of wire to wire right there. As we get ready for the final of the Open IMs, let's quick take a look at the team score as we've had some pretty recent developments. Yeah, Skipak is making an epic comeback here. Uh, let's run through it. In sixth place, we have the Bellwood Barracudas with 134. In fifth, fifth place, Laurelwood Dolphins with 153. In fourth place, the Hillside Piranhas with 156. In third place, the Nine Oaks Gators with 187. In second is Skipback with 274. And North End is only up by about 30. They have 306. So it is a real close battle here as we finish up the IM. And Skipback has some scoring chances here with Sidney Kohler in lane three. The rest of the field is Kirsten Dagg in lane two, Eliana Crew in lane four, and Emery Horn in lane five. An interesting fact about Kirsten Dagg out there in lane two, her first race as a Nine Oaks swimmer was in this pool in lane two. This is now her last race in lane two of this pool. Talk about coming full circle. That is full circle indeed. What a wonderful way to start and end your career at this pool. She's currently challenging for the lead right now, battling Eliana Crew. Sydney Kohler still in the race for third. Now pulling up alongside of Dag Horn with a slight lead. Looks like Crew is starting to run away with this one. It is a battle for second though. All three girls are right there, going for second. Looks like Dag could pull it out, but Kohler's hanging with her. Listen to this crowd. Crew, Dag, and Kohler are your finalists for the 100 IM. It's relay time, that's right. The 200 meter freestyle relay now on the blocks. This is one of one for the heats in lane one, north end, in lane two, skip back, in lanes three and four, north end, and Nine Oaks represents lanes five and six. So in the team battle, North End, they could get some huge points here, but Skipback also has scoring opportunities. That is true. Once again, as we said, broken record, the North End 13-14 boys really carrying the team today. The, the Testa, uh, the Delps, Testa, Valino, these guys have been all over the leaderboard all morning long. I feel like we've been saying their names every time the 13-14 boys events roll around. So, North Ends, two relays, take the early lead, followed by Nine Oaks. It's nice for the North End coaches to be able to really uh, strategize as they're setting up these relays where they can stack both relays and really open up a lead as we hit the halfway point here of the race. Both North End teams have I would say about a five to six body length lead on their opposition. Nine Oaks right now in third, skip back in fourth. But right now it is all North End. As we come up to the anchor legs, it'll be Justin Delp for the North End A relay and Will Huggard for the North End B relay. Delp already has two top three finishes on the day, looking to make it a third. He's got great arm speed. He really reaches with his right arm while the left arm comes a little bit higher than the right, but nonetheless has a fantastic kick and that is the key in freestyle, folks. You gotta keep those legs moving. The legs propel the body. I tell my swimmers all the time. So North End A will take this relay followed closely by North End B. And Jack Miscavige swimming a great leg for Nine Oaks. They will take third. The 
The battle for fourth rage is on. Skipak trying to hold off a north, another north end relay. Close at the line. Looks like North End took that one. And the Nine Oaks B relay finishing strong. Relay Madness continues here with the girls 13, 14, 200 meter freestyle relay. In lane one, we have Laurelwood, lane two, Skipback, lane three in North End, lane four, Hillside, lane five, Nine Oaks, and lane six, more North End. North End again, just like the boys, the girls have two relays in the, uh, in the second heat here. So it's a good way to add points. Yes, in that team race, Skipback was mounting a comeback, but North End with their depth, they might be able to pull away once again. Tight into the wall. North end and skip back going one, two to start. Followed closely by Hillside. Nine Oaks moving up in lane five. And now skip back comes out of the water there with the lead over North end. Yeah, Lucy's having a heck of a, heck of a split here. Really giving her team a nice lead. And Hillside and Nine Oaks able to catch up to North End's A relay there. Right now, skip back with about a body length lead. Let's go, Annette! Although Annette Testa is looking to close that gap for North End. She's trying, she's making a move. Looks like Annette may close the gap all the way and give her teammate a lead going into the final leg. It's neck and neck. The ladies are diving in at the same time. And they are dead even coming out of the water. Now North End slightly pulls ahead. Elsa's been on the leaderboard a couple times today. And the battle for third between Hillside and Nine Oaks is shaping up to be a good fight as well. The North End. Yeah, Elsa's putting her head down and really just powering through the water. Finishes strong. North End one, skip back two. Hillside. Close, Hillside. but Hillside takes it for three. What a race here in the relays. No, this is the final. Now it's time for event number 27, the boys 15 and over freestyle relay. In lane one, Nine Oaks. In lane two, Laurelwood. In lane three, another Nine Oaks relay. Bellwood, lane four, and Laurelwood in lane five. This is gonna be another good race here. A lot of district swimmers in this race. Will Cano leading off for Bellwood. Gives them a nice lead to work with. Will's on the record board at ONJ Roberts for a few different sprint relays. That was a smart move by their coaches to have him lead off the race here. The interesting thing about the relays is that, you know, there's a couple different ways to do it. Some people like to put their fastest first. Some people put their fastest last. Really depends on how the coach wants to, uh, wants to set themselves up for success. And Kyle Krupp for Nine Oaks swimming a huge leg, bringing them back in. And now Nate Reagan's gonna take it. Going up against John Caldwell for Bellwood. Nate Reagan, we've said his name a couple times, been around for the backstroke. He certainly has. Nate Reagan's gonna give off to Henry Phillips as an anchor while Caldwell's gonna give off to Colin Davis. Both guys known for their freestyle sprint prowess. Can Colin catch Henry? Here we go. Right now, Henry Phillips holds the lead, but when Colin Davis in the water, no lead is big enough. When you're a six foot two freshman, you can do that. But it looks like Henry's gonna hold him off. Colin's charging though. One last surge. Phillips and Nine Oaks hold on for the lead. What a final lap though by Colin Davis. That was fantastic. 
And the guys, good show of support at the end, giving each other a hug. That was great. What a race. Now in the water, it's the final event of the day. We have two heats of the girls, 15 and over, 200 meter freestyle relay in this first heat. We have Skivak in lane two, Hillside in lane three, Laurelwood in lane four, and Nine Oaks in lane five. We've seen some great times in the pool today. We may actually there's, a, there's an outside chance we could see a senior champ record broken here by Skipak in the next heat, so we look forward to that. Meanwhile, in this heat, Skipak, their B relay is off to a tremendous start here in lane two. The rest of the field follows. Right now, it is all Skipak. Jordan Gutschall about to enter the pool. If you recognize that last name, her and her sister, very, very good swimmers for skip back over the summer. Spring forward during the winter. Yeah, spring forward. Spring forward has a wide crop of talent they're going to be looking forward to this winter. Ashley Gutschall, already the 50 free record holder. She's set and broken that record so many times that I've lost count. Skipback continues to lead. Laurel Wood has moved into that second position. Hillside in third. Leah Coons in the water for Skipback. Emma Valbert, the anchor leg for Laurel Wood. Looks like Leah has just enough of a lead that she's going to hold off, but Valbert is charging. As we saw in the previous heat with Colin Davis and Henry Phillips, you always got to go all out because leads can disappear very very quickly but skip back gonna have plenty of room here and they'll take the win Coons finishes it up and now Heat two of two for the girls 15 and over 200 meter freestyle relay. This is it, the end, the final race of the day. In lane one, we have Nine Oaks. In lane two, we have Bellwood. In lane three, Skipback. Lane four is Hillside. Lane five, Laurelwood. In lane six, North End. They just announced this is the last race of the day and it got a rousing ovation from the crowd. The staff here at Laurel did a fantastic job. We are actually ahead of the schedule that we have here on our heat sheets. Which if you know anything about a long swim meet, that never ever happens. And it's great that we get a good race to finish off with. Oh yeah, look at this, everyone is lined up. Right now it's Abby Kohler's skip back with the slight lead, but only just. Everyone separated by less than a second. Abby handing off to her sister, Sydney. Although Hillside, Lana Brown currently has the lead, but here comes Sydney. And Bellwood's in it too, in the mix. Laurelwood looking to try to reconnect. Caitlin McGuire, up and rising sophomore at ONJ, fast sprinter. Eliana Crew for Bellwood. One of her high school teammates, also a fantastic sprinter. This is a three horse race here. Skip back, Bellwood, Hillside. Skip back, anchoring probably the fastest sprinter in the area, Ashley Gutschall. Although Emery Horn from Bellwood's giving her a run for her money. Gutshaw going to work. Looks like she's going all out here on this first lap. She's going to build about a half second lead at the turn. As I said, we may see a record broken here. Keep an eye on the clock. We're going to be just a little bit off the all-time record, but still a fantastic swim for the ladies from Skipack. 
unofficially 154-39. What a race that was. And a great way to end the senior champs here for the Tri-County Swim. Welcome to the beautiful historic Reading Country Club. Now open to the public. Play the same course that Sneed, Hogan, and Hagen played. Designed back in 1923 by renowned golf architect Alex Finley, the Reading has 18 championship holes. Now, after your round, just stop on by the Patio Grill for delicious food and a nice ice-cold beverage. Why not book your organization's next outing at the Reading Country Club? Hey, and by the way, check out the weekly exciting leagues. It's memorable now at the Reading. For more information, just check out the website, ReadingCCGolf.com. Butter Valley Golf Course, conveniently located in the quiet rural setting of Valley PA, just off Route 100. One of the nicest, most affordable 18-hole course in the region. With changing elevations, challenging greens, and scenic fairways, golfers of all ability levels are sure to enjoy their round. Butter Valley Golf Course is a great place to enjoy the game of golf with friends or family, young and old alike. Grab some buddies and grab a meal at the Runway Grill before or after your round. Butter Valley Golf Course. All right, here we are again with the North End Boys, winners of the 13-14 Freestyle Relay. Gentlemen, what a fantastic, fantastic event for you. You guys have all been up here multiple times today. Want to give a shout out to anyone specifically? Coach Frat, <laughs> Coach Carey, Coach Seth, Coach Kelly. There you go. You know what, guys? As fantastic as you guys are swimmers, I bet you your coaches are just as great coaching you guys up. Great meet today, guys. Congratulations on a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we are here with the winners. Boys, fantastic job in the 15, 18, 200 freestyle relay. You know what? We got to give it up for our coaches, right? How good have they coached you guys throughout the season? Absolutely. Every day they're showing up 110%. Shout out to Coach David every day, right in our practices. We love him. Uh, shout out to Coach Logan. She's amazing. She helps me with my stroke all the time. Shout out to Coach Keeley. She brings the energy every practice, every meet, and it's fantastic. Shout out to Coach Kishi. She's always there to support us, and it's great. There you go. Congratulations, guys. You've been up here a lot today. Great swimming this afternoon. Good job. All right, we are with the 13-14 ladies, 200 freestyle winners. Congratulations, girls, on a fantastic meet. You guys have been up here quite a few times today. Any shout outs you want to give? Uh, Coach Seth. Uh, Coach Kelly for dealing with everything that I mess up with. Coach Jason and Coach Ashley. Coach Carey for her amazing feedback. I mean, we got to admit, ladies, as fantastic as you guys are as swimmers, well, coaches have a lot to do with it, right? They keep you motivated throughout the season, right? Well, congratulations on a great meet today. Good job. Thank you. Thanks. All right, we are with the winners, the ladies, girl, excuse me, ladies, 15, 18, 200 freestyle relay. Congrats, ladies, on a great swim today. You guys have been up here a lot this afternoon. Want to give a shout out to your coaches? Um, yeah, shout out to Coach Kyle. Shout out to Coach Sean. Uh, shout out to Coach Ashley. Um, and shout out to Coach Tom. Let's be honest, as fantastic as you guys are in the pool, the coaches really have a lot to do with it, right, ladies? Yes, they do. <laughs> awesome. Great job on a fantastic meet today. Congratulations. All right. All right, ladies, congratulations on a fantastic I am here. Uh, state your name one more time for the record. Kirsten Dagg. Nine Oaks. Lana Brown Hillside. Eliana Crew, Bellwood. All right, real talk. I've been up here all day interviewing a couple hundred people. How good does my outfit look? Um, 100 out of 10. 100 out of 10? That's fantastic. 7.2. Oh, not, not as fantastic. No, I'd go 100 out of 10. Thanks. Crew knows me well. Thank, crew, crew knows that this is what I always do. The style and the functionality. All right, we are here with our second and third place winners from the 100 IM, uh, Henry and Connor. And gentlemen, We've been here all day, got here about 6 o'clock this morning. I'm starving. Where shall I go to get pizza for lunch? Uh, it's a little far drive, but I would say Avalon, New Jersey, Nemo's. You cannot go wrong. It is fantastic. Avalon, New Jersey? <laughs> it's worth it. All right, sounds good. Maybe going to the beach today. So I would just say get a DiGiorno pizza from Walmart. Just saying. I'm a pretty big fan of the, uh, the crust that, like, rises, you know? Okay. Just saying. There you go. So either going to the shore or going to Walmart, one or the other. 
Oh man, I don't know. You know, there's there's a there's a Bella Pizza right up the street. It isn't too shabby. So there you go. All right, guys, congrats on a great meet. Good job. Thanks. So, what do you think was the key to the success there? Our cheer in the beginning. The cheer in the beginning. Yeah. Can I get a little little small little cheer right here? Oh, um, it's like. Oh, yeah, you need the whole team to do the cheer. Oh, just the four. All right, I'll hold the mic right here. Go. Dolphins, 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 dolphins. Well, I mean, if, if that doesn't say championship cheer right there, I don't know what does. Congrats, ladies. We look forward to seeing more of you later on. All right, we are here with the boys, 15 and overs from Nine Oaks. State your name. Hi, I'm Dylan Darrett. Nate Reagan. Eight of my alley. Henry Phillips. Fellas, congratulations on that fantastic swim. That was an excellent, excellent race. It was really competitive between you guys and Bellwood. Tell me, what uh, what brought you home on that freestyle? I was just thinking we got to win this. So I, no breaths. Cross, breathe, but almost no breaths. <laughs> almost no breaths. Hey, that's what you got to do sometimes. Just put the head down and go for it, right? You want to give a quick shout out to anyone? Uh, no, not really. Actually. No shout outs. I got one. It's for Coach Carey right over there. There you go. Got to love the coach right there. I'll give a shout-out to my mom. Love you, Mom. That's beautiful. Thanks, fellas. Congratulations. Look forward to more swimming later on this morning. All right. We are here with the 15 and over Skip Act ladies who just completed the medley relay. Congratulations, girls. State your name. Abby Kohler. Bryn Romberger. Sydney Kohler. Ashley Gutcha. What, what do you think was, uh, was the key to that racer? That was tight throughout the whole entire thing. What do you think? Um, well, we had a good second half. We wanted to keep our lead going into it and um, just hold our own in that back half. Yeah, Ashley, what were you thinking on that freestyle? You were neck and neck with the young lady from Hillside. What did you think about that race? I really wasn't. <laughs> it was just keep going. <laughs> it was good. You guys flipped on the wall at the same time, and then it seems like on that last 25, you really just kind of found that extra gear. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to win, so, you know. That works. Congratulations, ladies. We look forward to seeing more swimming from you later on today. Good job. All right, we are with our winners of the girls 13 14 100 freestyle. Ladies, state your name in the pool you swim for Elsa North End, uh, Lucy Skipback, Gabby Hillside. Ladies, that was a fantastic swim. It really was wire for wire for the three of you. That was really impressive. Turns out you guys did an exact tie for first place. How do you feel about that? I, it's good, I guess. Yeah, I like it. Nice. You know, you guys swim for different teams, but it's awesome when you get to finish at the exact same time. Congratulations, ladies. Great swim today. All right. We are here with the boys, 15, 1800 freestyle, top three places. Gentlemen, state your name and who you swim for. I'm Jacob, and I swim for Skipback. Colin Davis, I swim for Bellwood. I'm Will Cano. I swim for Bellwood also. No, fellas, as someone who's familiar with the, the high school swimming in this area, I know you guys have been in competition a lot over the past few years. How does swimming summer league compare to swimming the high school swim meets together? Uh, swimming in summer is just fun, while swimming in high school is more competitive. There you go. And, Colin, you were a freshman this year, so is it a lot different here swimming in these summer meets than the competitive high school season? It is, yes. I, high school, it's more competitive. In summer, I'd say just having fun, coming out here with everyone, getting to know people. Awesome. And Will, you are committed to swim at Ursinus in the fall, is that correct? Yes, I am. That's fantastic. And then, Jacob, you're swimming at Delaware, right? Yep. yep. That's awesome. So it's, it's great, guys, that you decided to stay local for your colleges, and hopefully we can't wait to see you swimming collegiately in the fall. Congratulations, guys. Great swims. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, we are here with the girls, 15, 1800 freestyle. Ladies, where do you, uh, where do you swim? Let's get back. And your name is? Bryn Romberger. Awesome. Um, Katie Guns from Hillside. Kirsten Dagg from Nine Oaks. That was a fantastic swim for you ladies. Uh, what'd you have for breakfast this morning? I know the breakfast is what fuels the belly. I had waffles and a banana. What flavor waffles? A chocolate chip. Nice, good choice. Wawa hoagie all the way. That's hoagie fest, it's time for that wawa hoagie, I get it. Um, I had a protein bar. <laughs> well, someone's gotta keep it normal over here. Well ladies, whatever you had, it really, really helped you out. Congratulations on a great swim today. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right, I am here with the 13-14 boys, 50 backstroke winners. Gentlemen, state your name and who you swim for. Uh, I'm H Andrew Henyon. I swim for Nine Oaks. I'm Luke Schatzman. I swim for North End. Chase Noy, I swim for North End. All right, so fellas, I was a competitive swimmer growing up as well, and I always thought that there was a shark chasing me when I was in the water, and that made me go faster. What helps you swim fast in the pool? 
Uh, I'm not really sure. I, I just swim. Just swim? Y yeah. Anything to make you swim faster in the water? No, I get to get out of the water afterwards. You just want to go as fast as you can so you can get out. I get it. Um, probably my competition and my coaches. There you go. You hear your coaches pushing you, especially when you're swimming backstroke, right? You can see them as you're going in the water there. Well, fellas, fantastic swims today. Really proud of you guys. Keep up the good work. Good job. All right. We are here with the 13 and 14 girls backstroke winners. Ladies, state your name and the pool you swim for. Annette Testa, North End. Colby Richard, North End. Kara Sedera, Skip Back. Nice. Ladies, congratulations. Quick question for you. When you're training long practices, I know sometimes you could have two-hour practices in the morning or in the afternoon. What song do you sing over and over and over and over in your head? Bound to by Kanye West. I think I'm too old for Kanye West. Dancing with our hands tied by Taylor Swift. Again, not my genre. Starships by Nicki Minaj. Oh, I think I actually know that one. There you go. That's awesome, ladies. Congratulations on great swims and look forward to more later on today. Good job. Thank you. All right, we are here with the boys, 15, 1800 backstroke uh, swimmers. Gentlemen, state your name and the pool you swim for. Colin Davis, and I swim for Bellwood. Nate Reagan, I swim for Nine Oaks. Uh, Patrick Boker, and I swim for Laurelwood. Fellas, you, the food feeds the belly, which feeds the body. What did you have for breakfast this morning? I had a waffle this morning. What flavor? Just regular organic. Organic? Fancy waffle guy. I had a blueberry muffin and frosted flakes. Nice. Gotta love the frosted flakes. Tony the Tiger. Uh, I had a breakfast sandwich. From where? Uh, Wawa. There you go. Well, you know what, fellas? It obviously paid off. Congratulations on great swim in the backstroke today. Good job. All right. We are here with the girls, 15, 1800 backstroke winners. Ladies, congratulations. Uh, uh, who do you swim for? Hillside. Hillside. And your name is? Lana Brown. Lana? I'm Kaya, and I swim for Bellwood. Awesome. I'm Abby, and I swim for Skipback. Awesome. Ladies, you know, the swim season starts around Memorial Day, and, you know, as you know, today is going to be the last day for everyone, the middle of July. Do you have any plans for the rest of the summer? A few more vacations before I leave for college. Where are you going to school in the fall? Shippensburg. Nice. Are you going to swim for them? Yes, I am. That's fantastic. Um, I'm actually going down to the beach later today after the meet. Wow, you're not wasting any time going on vacation. <laughs> Um, probably focus on softball now because I do that too. So there you go, a dual at, dual sport athlete. Love that. You know, the, us coaches, we tell our athletes all the time: play multiple sports. It works the body out well. Good job. Thank you, ladies. Fantastic swims today. Great job. Thank you. All right, we are here with the boys, winners from the 13, 14, 50 breaststroke. What's your name and who do you swim for? Big D for North End. Big D. That's your birth name. All right. Alejandro from Bellwood. Lil Willie from North End. All right, Big D and Lil Willie. I can't believe I just said that. What's up with the, uh, what's up with the ink? Uh, it's a tradition, drawing on abs. I was a little kid. Same thing? Yeah, we do it, we've been doing it since our younger. And we have our signatures. Love it. And, and uh, Bellwood doesn't believe in the tats? I just don't need draw on abs. Wow, he said he doesn't need to draw on abs. What do you think about that? I have no comment. <laughs> Better to say nothing nothing bad, right? There you go. Good job, fellas. Nice swimming today. Good job. All right, we are here with our girls, 13, 14 breaststroke winners. Ladies, state your name and what pool you swim for. Anna and for Skipback. Annette Testa, North End. Olivia and for Skipback. All right, we've got a couple Skipbacks here. Congratulations, ladies. Uh, you know, we always ask what you're having for breakfast. So let's switch it up. What's for lunch today? Uh, wobble mac and cheese. Mm, a bowl, a mac and cheese bowl? Okay, love it. Some sort of sandwich and fruit, definitely. Oh, of course, we got to keep it healthy with the fruit. I got it. I'm going to have tomato pie. <laughs> <laughs> a little corporate tomato pie action. Love it. Sounds good. Hey, you know, you got to fuel the body after the race as well. Congrats, ladies. Thanks for a great swim today. Thank you. All right, we are here with the boys, 1518 breaststroke winners. Gentlemen, state your name and the pool you swim for. I'm um, Cooper DeMarc. I'm from Skipback. Tito Vidal, Bellwood. Jude Mose, Lorewood. Fellas, those were uh, some fantastic swims you guys had there. Very proud of your, your effort this morning. What do you attribute to a fast breaststroke? Uh, a lot of practice and good technique. Gatorade. Gatorade. Yeah. All right, sounds good. Uh, same here with the technique and practice. There you go. You got any plans for the summer? Uh, just a little bit more swimming and then getting ready for college. There you go. School, some more summer school work. That, that a boy. Keep studying all summer. Swim, work, and just have fun. Love it. Sounds good. Thanks, fellas. Congratulations on the great race. Thank you. All right. I am here with the 13, 14, 50 meter butterfly winners. Gentlemen, please state your name and the pool you swim for. Justin Delp, North End. Max Culp, Laurelwood. Chase Anoya, North End. 
So what I hear from a lot of younger swimmers, especially, is that butterfly is the toughest stroke to swim. Did you choose to swim in here today, or did your coaches just put you in it? Uh, I chose. I, I really like fly, and I always have. This pool is just tough because it's more narrow. That is true. I chose because it was my favorite stroke. Um, I chose because it's not a 200 fly. <laughs> Anything besides a 200 fly is a okay with you. I hear you. Thanks, fellas. Great swims today. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we are here with the girls, 13, 14, 50 butterfly winners. Ladies, who do you swim for? I'm Lila Fisher, and I swim for Hillside. I'm Olivia Sellers, and I swim for Nine Oaks. I'm Kara Sedan, and I swim for Skip Back. All right, so ladies, you know, you ask the younger swimmers, and normally butterfly is the most difficult stroke to, to swim. It takes full body effort. Did your coach tell you to swim it, or did you choose to swim it here today? I think the coach told me to. I was, I kind of just did it, and I think I learned it as I swam it. I 100% chose to do it. Like, right from the get-go, I was definitely a butterflyer. Nothing else was there for me. Yeah, you know, sometimes you just find that stroke that people don't want to do, and you just master it, and it pays off. Your coach, your coach told you to do it, and you ended up winning it. That's fantastic. Yeah, it's, it's great. That's awesome. Congratulations. Thanks, ladies. Great swim today. All right, I'm here with the girls' 15, 1800 breaststroke winners. Ladies, congratulations on a great swim. State your name and who you swim for. Tamara Angler from Hillside. Um, um, Cindy Kohler from Skip Back. Izzy Ketter from Nine Oaks. All right, so traditionally, breaststroke can be swam in a few different ways. You know, normally uh, you see a lot of people with the long glide, but then other times some people try to go faster with it. How do you develop a good breaststroke? Um, I normally just try to go quick because I want to get done quicker. So <laughs> I just kind of swim as fast as possible and like let it all out. There you go. That works. Um, I'm, I'm definitely more of a glider, so I don't really move it. I don't have a fast tempo. Uh, I definitely try to go faster just to be faster. Well, look at that, ladies. Two of you go faster, one goes glide, and you place in the top three. So whatever you do works. Congratulations on a great swim. Awesome. All right, we are here with the winners from the 15-18 men's 100 butterfly. Gentlemen, state your name and the pool you swim for. I'm Jacob. I swim for Skip Back. I'm Dylan, and I swim for Nine Oaks. Henry, I swim for Nine Oaks. You know, we were talking at the commentary table about how this was probably going to be the most anticipated race of the day. All four of you had times that were right around each other. How do you mentally prepare for swimming a, a difficult race, the 100 butterfly, but yet a sprint at the same time? Um, I kind of just went in with no expectations and just had fun racing. Well, that, that is what summer swim is all about, is having fun. I like to listen to music before I swim. What do you listen to? Um, like rock sometimes. Okay, that works. Man, I just like joking with my friends before the race, you know, let's go with the pressure a little bit. Just went in there. We were all, you know, in the same with seconds, so it was, I knew we were all going to be pushing each other. Yeah, it was, it was a fantastic race, fellas. One of the best of the day. Congratulations on your victories. You. Good job. All right, we are here with the 13-14 boys who just finished the IM with our awesome uh, tattoos here. I got Big D, uh, Sussy Sam, and Lil Willie all representing North End. Congratulations, fellas, on a great swim. Let me ask you, the IM, what's your thought process going into it? Um, don't waste too much energy on butterfly. That's actually what we tell a lot of the high school swimmers, too. You don't want to burn out too soon. Get an early lead on butterfly and backstroke and just keep the pace on. Try to know what your strong strokes are and then go from there. Good idea. Uh, I just go easy on all the other ones except for breaststroke because that's my fastest one. Hey, you know what, fellas? Three different techniques. They all worked. Congratulations on placing in the top three, representing North End very well. Good job. All right, we are here with the girls, 13, 1400 IM winners. Ladies, your name in the pool you swim for? Colby Richard, North End. Elsa Lucas, North End. Olivia Sellers, Nine Oaks. All right, ladies, question for you. 100 IM, probably the most difficult thing to swim out here. How do you... Prepare yourself, and how do you swim that race? What do you do? I sprint back and free, and then I try my best on flying breast. So you, you work your strengths and then hope, hope it works. Yeah. And it did. You won. Good job. Uh, use your techniques and use the wall. Using the walls. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, the more underwater you can do, the less on top of the water you have to do, which saves energy. Smart idea. I sprint, fly, and free and back, and I know I'm not good at breast, so I ch do my best. Hey, hide the weakness. I love it. That's a great strategy. This is the year you're going to improve your game. No excuses. And the pros at Blackwood Golf Academy are here to help. With their 23-acre all-grass driving range, full-service pro shop, and computerized swing analysis, Blackwood Golf Academy will get your game up to par. 
Need lessons? Individual and group instruction with head pro Chris Carr will shave strokes off your game and make you the envy of your next foursome. Blackwood Golf Academy, a country club setting open to the public, adjacent to Blackwood Golf Course in Douglasville. For more than 50 years, Pottstown Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery has served its community with expert dental care, offering patients dental implants and a full menu of procedures for many types of dental problems, including bone grafting, wisdom teeth, impacted canines, facial trauma, jaw surgery, oral pathology, TMJ disorders, and sleep apnea. Get the smile you've always wanted. Contact Pottstown Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery today. There's a place for wood in your backyard. We recommend the fire pit. For looks and performance that outlast a wooden deck, make sure your next deck is built with Trex, engineering what's next in outdoor living. Your Trex expert is A.D. Moyer Lumber, admoyer.com. And that is it, all the races are over. Let's see what the final standings were. All right, in sixth place was Bellwood with 190 points. In fifth place, Laurelwood with 197. In fourth place, Hillside with 202. In third place, Nine Oaks with 274. In second place, Skipback with 343. And your winner from beginning to end, the North End Stingrays with 378 points. It was a fantastic meet. We saw a lot of amazing swims, a lot of fast times. And most importantly, the smiles seemingly contagious everywhere. For Tiffer Burns, I'm Anthony Bamford here at the Laurelwood Swim Pool on behalf of the PCTV Network, signing off.